Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Um, today, we are going to talk about... Okay, so I told you the other day that I had a vision. And in this vision was scales. Okay, and then what I did not tell you is I saw a storm. Like a big storm that was getting ready to come in. Okay, so a few days went by, and last night, as I was peaceful and I was just doing some reading, um, Revelations 3.16, Because you are lukewarm and neither hot or cold, I will spew you out of my mouth. Did you hear that? We are being weighed right now. And this is not this is not a time to play. This is not a time to just be like on the fence. God said either you're all in or you're all out. There's no riding the fence anymore. He's not going to allow anyone to ride the fence anymore. Either you agree with what he says or you don't. You cannot serve him and the devil too. You cannot ride the fence. The scales are weighing you right now. How much righteousness do you have? Do you have righteousness like the Pharisees? Because God says unless you had more righteousness than the Pharisees, you would not see the kingdom of heaven. We are being weighed in the balance right now. This is not a time to sit and play and be like, well, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Has God called you to do something? Has he put something on your heart that he wants you to do? Has he given you a dream where he gave you instructions? Whatever it is, now is the time to do it. We are being weighed. Jesus said that he would on excuse me. Jesus said that we would be separated sheep from goats. The goats would be on the left, the sheep would be on the right. The ones on the left would be told to enter into eternal damnation. The ones on the right will be told, enter into the blessings of my Father. Do you see the difference? We are in the middle of being weighed right now. God is separating the sheep from the goats. He is revealing the ones that are on fire for him versus the ones that are lukewarm and on the fence. You can't agree with some of what God says and then say, well, I don't agree with that or I don't agree with that. That's not how this works. When you are a Christian, you are sold out to God. You cannot continually ride the fence. Riding the fence, the days of riding the fence are over and God is tired of lukewarm Christians. Lukewarm, casual Christians that seem to think it's okay to ride the fence. I'm telling you right now, God said no more riding the fence. No more sitting on the sidelines. Either you're in or you're out. And there are certain things that God does not agree with that if you agree with them, I would go to God in prayer and repent because he is not putting up with it. Yes, he is a loving God, but he is also a God of justice. And he is a God of judgment. So, I suggest everyone who watches this video, if you feel like this is talking to you, then God is trying to reach you and tell you, no more lukewarmness. If you continue to be lukewarm, he will spew you out of his mouth. And that is a scary statement. Even scarier is when you get to heaven and him tell you when you're in front of him for judgment, I never knew you. 
Wouldn't you rather hear, Well done, thou good and faithful servant, enter into the reward prepared for you? Wouldn't you rather go to heaven and receive a hug from Jesus and not be turned away into eternal darkness, into the lake of fire? Wake up, my brothers and sisters. Now is not the time to ride the fence. Now is the time to decide who you will serve. Will you serve the Lord your God with all of your heart, all of your mind, all of your soul, and all of your strength? Or are you going to continue riding the fence? Because there are many things in the Word of God that people do not agree with today. And they are going against and they are still doing it. And God said, broad is the way and wide is the, light, the road that leads to death. But narrow is the way and straight is the way and few there be there find it that leads to life. Why did he say that? Well, for one, the Bible says, let no corrupt communication come from you. That means curse words. Yeah, I know I'm about to get a lot of, I'm, I'm about to make a lot of people upset. But I have to speak what God wants me to speak. We have the Holy Spirit living within us. Why would we want to speak vain language? Blasphemy against the Holy Spirit is the only unforgivable sin. And let me tell you, I have seen a lot of blasphemy against the Holy Spirit and so-called Christians in the comments laughing, thinking it was funny. You don't make fun of the Holy Ghost. You don't make fun of speaking in tongues. And you don't lie against the Holy Ghost. That will definitely sentence you to hell. Now is the time to wake up. If you hear anyone speaking in tongues and you try to make fun of them, that is blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. I speak in tongues. I will acknowledge it right now. I speak in tongues. I have God's Spirit living within me. And I am not about to sit back and agree with all these videos that are being posted of people making fun of people who are speaking in tongues. Because that angers God more than anything. You want to anger God? Have a proud look. You want to anger God? Have a lying tongue. You want to anger God? Shed innocent blood. But most importantly, you want to anger God? Blaspheme the Holy Ghost because that will get God angry at you more than anything. Because that is His precious Holy Spirit that is living within us. And when we are praying in tongues, we are allowing the Holy Spirit of God to pray through us. Because sometimes we don't know what to pray, but His Spirit does. That is why we speak in tongues. That is why we speak in tongues. Plus, when you speak in tongues, it builds you up on your most holiest faith. You, your, your oil increases when you speak in tongues. When you pray in the Holy Ghost, your oil is increasing. When you pray in the Holy Ghost, your faith is overflowing. Please listen to me. Stop making fun of the Holy Ghost. Stop laughing at people who are making fun of the Holy Ghost. And stop making fun of the ones that are speaking in tongues. And stop calling it evil. Because it's not. The ones that speak in tongues are not evil. The ones that speak in tongues are full of the Holy Spirit. And God's not going to stand for it anymore. Because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I will spew you out of my mouth. That's Revelation 3.16. Wake up, decide who you will serve, and serve him. Because God is fed up. 
We are being weighed in the balance. What side are you being weighed on? The left or the right? Because now is the time that you need to be on God's side. Because we don't know what's coming next. God said he would take care of his children. But are you one of God's children? Ask yourself that. Am I truly one of God's children? Because not everybody is a God's child. Even the Bible says that. Not everybody is God's child. So are you going to ride the fence? And just think you can get away with doing anything riding the fence? And not make a decision one way or the other? Are you going to continue being lukewarm? Or are you going to dive into your Bible, get on your knees, repent, ask God for forgiveness for even being lukewarm, and ask Him to make you hot? Because God is serious. He's not going to put up with it anymore. He is weighing us. He is separating us. There's a line of separation going on right now. What side are you on? I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video.